outside booths. And for those of you who just watched me, I'm going to repeat myself for two minutes. But I've just got back from a mini break. But my main holiday is towards the end of July. But today is probably the only day that I can go and get things. And for me, it's about getting stuff I can fit in my suitcase. It's compact, but I feel that I have anything any occasion that occurs on my makeup, skin, hair, body, everything, toes, feet, whatever. So join me now for our relatively inexpensive haul. And I'll try and shout. Stay close to me. Stay close to me now. Really Much better, up. they say. Much better. Good. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Caroline. Okay, so for those of you who've heard this before, I'm going to repeat it, um, which is I go always to Benefit's little standalone first. And what Benefit do, better than any other brand I know actually, is they make minis in nearly all the products I really want. Um, but the one one I really want, which is Benny Tint, might be at the, um, at the um, cashier's desk. But the Perfect. one I'll get is Hula. Hula is their bronzer. I generally don't tan. I wear high SPF. But there are some moments when I want to be tanned and I just want to have not too orangey a colour. And Hula is a really good colour. It's quite cool and it's brownish. So tiny works well. Next up, for those of you who um, have uh, poor problems, and on holiday, shine and poor problems. Um, are issues and even if you don't have an oily skin if you're in a humid um, climate you're going to get it so this pore professional minimizes the appearances of pores but what it actually also does is take away a bit of the shine and they have this product and Dr. Feelgood which I love so I'm going to get that um, they have a really nice little um, mascara it's tiny many people actually make a small mascara but you know, it's a good little mascara. I've used this mascara quite a lot, and it really is small. So my makeup bag is going to fit everything. Around the other side. Patrini Tierney is asking, good tinted moisturizer for giving you a glow and good sun creams. Okay, so we're getting there, don't worry. Did you like these glasses? How did bifocals ever look so sexy? Um, so, yes, this one. I love, love this product. This is their brown, and it comes in just one colour, but it's so, it's like the most dinky little Sorry. Um, you can ever get your hands on. Look at that oh, tiny it's thing, so and, and it's going to put on like that. So already I've got half my little makeup thing, and it's all eensy weeny. <laughs> I've done that okay, Chloe, or is it just a little bit oh, weird? Oh, it's fine. Yeah, oh, good. Fine. She's always polite. It's fine. <laughs> I okay, do. Now let's go to Meanwhile, Trini, Anna is asking, oh, yes. uh, any tips to make makeup last for a summer wedding? Well, I'll tell you what else I'd say is good for. This does. It's not good. This is the proper. I think the use of primers is a good thing, but um, I sometimes, depends how oily your skin is, but I do put this on for some wedding because I don't like too much powder because obviously a summer wedding um, you're going to be uh, usually in full light in an evening um, atmosphere. So this just mattifies your skin and I put it sometimes on after all my makeup to just set the makeup without setting it with a powder and that in itself will keep your makeup lasting longer and then it depends also what kind of foundation you wear. Um, I just try some of that actually. We're here. Ooh, yeah. I used to use this product. Um, it's got a lot of sugar in it, but it's a sort of collagen product. You're only giving me a tiny shot. But yeah, so this is just a taste, basically. So this one here that you just tasted, it's um, four very okay. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so it actually doesn't contain sugar, but however, it's very dirty. It's a little use it for my okay. life, so thank you very much. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a good, if you can leave any collagen, I have on my. In my life, taking collagen pills and condom sections. Okay, Gillian is asking uh, tips on good moisturizing concealer. Oh, moisturizing concealer. Oh. Yes, I've, I've just seen one. But let me start because there's a lot here and I want to give some kind of order. I'm bearing that in mind. Chloe, you're a memory yep. checklist. Okay. So I want to start. Yes. The first thing I'm going to start up on is La Roche Posay Helio. 
uh, uh, Antilios, all right? And this is a very, very good high SPF. Um, and they have many different types. They have a cream, they have a milk, they have non-perfumed, if you're really, um, uh, have incredibly sensitive skin. Um, they have a tinted one, which is, this, I'm gonna show you because the color is not for everyone and being a French brand, they're not good at doing many colors. But it's not bad, it's a little bit, slightly light, so I'd say for anyone who's up to a olive skin, it's quite good. But the corner is, okay, good, good, We're good. okay? Okay, We're okay, yeah. All right, hold on, so I want to get it, I want to get it, I want to get it. I gotta put my bifocals on and show you. So, sensitive and sun resistant skin fluid tent and I can't see it. I'm gonna have to get it later. Oh, no, somebody's taking that out. Okay, this is a good one. They have the body as well, which I can't find here. I also get a then because um, <coughs> Avia has sprays, and I quite like using a water spray, but I always found the Avia water spray not that hydrating. And I've always liked Aven because their thermal water has a, an element of mineral in it, which gives more hydration, and I kind of stretch my skin with that. Love it. Um, Somebody said good eye creams. I am in boots, I could show you 101 eye creams, but in my blogs I generally put eye creams I like. But what I, what I do like for summer is this one, which I talk about a lot, and it's the Lay Embrilise, which hazel and um, aloe vera one, and I just feel it has great hydration. And in the summer, sometimes, I don't want a heavy, some, I don't want a heavy eye cream, I want something that cools down my eye, takes away inflammation, that works well. We have a new cream. Excited for a new cream. I have talked to you about if there was a lady who asked about tinted moisturizers. Okay? Yep, yep. So I think Bare Minerals has a good one. It's SPF 20 or 30. We'll go and check. But um, Emberly's has SPF uh, 20. So quite light, but it's a very pretty colour and it gives a very nice coverage up to an olive skin. So if you're kind of porcelain, it might be a bit too dark for you. But if you're kind of peaches and cream to an olive skin, that works. They unfortunately only do one colour, being quite fresh. Um, but I'm going to try their Smooth Radiant Complexion because I like them released as a range. I talk about it a lot. They have... Um, the Le Creme, which is the original um, product that they first started with, which every makeup artist has in their handbag. Um, and they have also now plus one of the things. I just think if this is a tiny version or if this is an eye cream, because I love let, a mini no, version. Concentrate. No, it should be the same. <gasps> I mean, it's a mini version. That's the most exciting <sighs> thing. That is going on holiday with me. When you discover somebody does a mini, get it, because they don't always do it forever. I'll try the Embrilise new one, lifting one, and tell you what it's like. Katrini Varsha is asking, La Roche Posay does an SPF in a spray, is that any good? And how often should we top up the SPF? Very, far more often than you think you should. So if you are, all right, I'll tell you my thing. So I'll get up in the morning, I'll cover myself in a 30 on my body and 50 on my chest, and my hands and my face. And then if I'm wandering around sightseeing, I'll probably top it up again at lunch. But if I'm lying somewhere hot, where I might sweat a tiny bit, I'll do it every two hours. If I swim, I'll do it immediately after my skin is dry. Um, so the big important things to remember if you suffer from pigmentation is don't forget to keep reapplying a lot. Um, and there are some, some protectors that are good for pigmentation, but for me the best combination is to use vitamin C. Let's go round two. Um, yeah. Uh, we talk a lot about vitamin C, but indeed Lance does a very nice vitamin C suspension. And this one I would use pre prior putting on my sun cream. And that combination really helps push that pigmentation at bay. So I'm going to stock up on that. Barbara is asking, where are you going on holiday? Barbara, that would be telling. <laughs> Secrets. I'm going to Italy. Italy. Because I, I'll miss <laughs> Chloe, so I have to stay yeah. here at the Italian voices. <laughs> Barbara, how are you, darling? We love Barbara. Barbara's been, can I just say, about all um, the Facebook ladies. Okay. Chloe and I get to know some ladies more than others. The ones who comment the most we get to know. And it's joyful for us when, um, when you come on board and we know who you are. Love it. 
This is a really old-fashioned brand, Lano Lips. I mean, it, it was real. I think it was originally was it a nipple cream? I can't remember, but they have SPF 30 in them, and not every lip balm has an SPF 30. And the colours are pretty. This is a kind of rose petal colour, and they are not expensive. They are well, they're eight ninety nine. Three for two, so it's going to cost you ten pounds for three. Um, but the colours are pretty. They last quite well, they're not too sticky, um, and remember to SPF your lips always in the summer months. Today, oh, I know what I want to do. Yeah, frizz. My hair, my hair is a shitstorm in the summer. Um, and if ever I go near uh, sea water, it's even worse. And this here does take a very good blow dry, as I discuss often. So on holiday, I let go. You'll see it in a few weeks, and it becomes like this thing. So some days I love that when you get that right amount of sort of sea salt action. But other days, I just feel I've got brittle ends, and they feel like a piece of hay. So I've got my routine I do, but I discovered something that I want to try. I don't know if any of you have tried it, but I just saw this. John Frieda, and I think what I loved about it, putting on my bike vocals, um, is that it is a, it lasts for 10 days. So you put it in and it takes away the frizz. Now, whether it's going to also take away the volume, I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do is try it before I go on holiday, tell you ladies about it, and let's see if this could be a savior for us of the frizzing every day. Um, so I'm going to try because I bumped into. Um, uh, we popped into John Frieda, <laughs> not named up here, but it's quite interesting. We popped into him at a party um, a few weeks ago, and he was with his wife, and has this really voluminous hair. Uh, quite, you know, great hair, but thick and unruly a little bit. So I just said, oh, I wish you did a really good hydration shampoo. And he said, Well, have you tried? Because he does colour well stuff. Have you tried the Frizz Ease shampoo, which I've never tried, and the recovery things? So I'm going to try now. This deep conditioner, see what it's like, and I'm going to try the shampoo. And let's see if it's good. I don't know if it's good yet, first time around, but by next week I'll let you know. Yeah. It's really a few ladies are really happy that, that finally they caught you live. They usually they don't catch you. But <laughs> now, where do we find the L'Oreal? Is it here? L'Oreal? Yeah, there with Ossi. Yes. I don't know how many of you. I mean, I remember using Three Minute Miracle when I was at boarding school. So this range must be at least 35 years old. But it's a great product. It has such a particular smell. This smell, I have to just open one. Because it's, I might have. It just has a smell. And when, when a product doesn't change its smell over 30 years, you know they haven't tweaked the formula. They haven't put more chemicals in it. It is what it is. It's fantastic. I love it. So I'm going to do a little packs here because I think these packs are great for holidays. So I'm going to do those three minute miracle packs and then I don't have to be carrying around big clunky bottles. And then I'll probably have a conditioner as well, but this is for that penetrating moment and I can fold it up. Body lotion. So uh, L'Oreal, Trini? L'Oreal, did you show? You wanted yes. to say something? I sometimes have friends who work with beauty and I hear tricks and tricks. So, this one, I don't use any um, royal shampoos, but I use this one. And I'm going to call you. This is for, I think I have done some Brazilian treatment. Maybe I have very thin and lank. This is a thickening shampoo. So, if you have the opposite problem of me and you want to create a sort of broader hair, that is your secret weapon. And this was developed by a very clever um, team. And I know how well it works, because the woman who recommended it to me, who will name names, I hope she's not watching, has the flattest, thinnest blonde hair. And um, she had used it for about two weeks, and I said, it's fantastic, this, this. Of all those things, I would do this if you need thick hair. Um, and I'll, we'll try and write down the name, Chloe, yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay, what else do I want to do? Ah, 
I do go through a ton. I'm not going to just do hand luggage because I'm going away for about 11 days. Um, so the one thing I will buy a big bottle of is a really good um, um, body lotion. And I always do Yuppie Care. And they bring it, they do it in a tube and they do it in a pump. So for holiday, I'm going to probably, actually hang on, I'm going to do, um, that's the balm. Yes, I'm going to do the balm. This is a very good body lotion if you have any kind of irritation. I don't get irritated. My skin is like a piece of leather. But it hydrates, it goes in, um, and it's my favorite body lotion. Madeline is asking, do you have a sexy perfume you like to wear? Oh, I'm a perfume active and love the classics. It's just the little brow that we like. Let's just see what this one is. Oh, sorry. Facial emo emulsion. No, I don't even know what it is. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just a miniature and little, I'm drawn to that. <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, they're mineral They're mineral sea water. They were our feminines. Um, did do all those kind of powder things, and I'm not a mineral powder person because I still think it's powder and it. Even though you squidge it in and do all your stuff, um, I feel, unless you use it totally correctly, it does leave a residue on, on your face. But Electron Rescue is one of my favorite products. For summer, I don't like to wear foundation very much. And they have this. I just want to check what the SPF is. I thought it was 20, but actually, happily, it's 30. Is that right? Yes, it is. And that comes in endless, like 16 shades. And it, it also slightly brightens your skin. It's not just into moisturizer. It's got something in it to give a little bit of a glow, but not too much reflection. And one of my favorite products for summer, and I'll tell you which color I take and I remember. Um, I either take vanilla, or vanilla's number two. Ask me questions whilst I'm looking. Otherwise, I feel boring for you. What is the best daytime moisturizer when you're on a vacation and afraid of sunburn? Well, this, factor 30. That's my colour. That's my colour. Excuse me. May I have vanilla, please? No, sorry, natural. Natural. Barbara is asking for a powder foundation. Barbara, we <laughs> know you're not 21, okay? Um, oh, sorry, we don't have any more of the <laughs> number five. No, gutting. Gutting. Okay, well, I can't do that because I wouldn't go to 5.5, would I? How was 5.5? You know, what you, I'll tell you something funny about foundations, which this is, they won't tell you, but I can tell you, is when you see number one is there, and it ends with, what's your biggest number? Um, probably No, what's your, what's the oh, number? The yeah, what's number on the back? 10. Number 10. So what happened is, they started with 10 shades, right? And then, they realized they didn't have enough shades, and then they made 0.5. So whenever you see a foundation company that has 0.5, you know they grew their collection and they had to slot the numbers in between where they found they had the gaps. So, 5.5 is the gap. I'll have 5.5. They also want to know some of the prices of the products you mentioned. Yes, how much are these? 28. Lupi Care. Did you show a few? Yeah, all of them. They actually want to see at the end what you will buy, so maybe we take a photo, we put okay, it on the take blog. A photo and we'll put it on the blog. <laughs> I can't tell you the exact prices. We get on the bottom. Can I just say we're in Boots, which is a drugstore in England, so everything is online. Kind of high Street, it's online. I'm not showing you anything that's over about thirty pounds. Um, thank you very much. Great. There we go. Um, now go. perfume. There won't be my favourite fragrance. I mean, it's a weird thing to come into boots and do fragrances because it's not. I'm not going to find my favorite fragrances. Oh, Barbara is saying uh, a light powder with SPF that won't sit in lines. I sweat any foundation liquid what? off before I even leave the house in 115 degrees weather. <laughs> Barbara, let me think about your specific condition. 
can come back to you with something, okay? Well, I'll, I'll have a real think overnight. I'll devote my time to it. Can I just say, ladies, there's so many fragrances here, but not many I like. So I think the best thing is that I promise you, I've got my secret stash of fragrances at home. And I will do a Facebook Live, Chloe will do it before the end of next week, and I'll go through my top fra fragrances. But they're things like, I'm going to give you some ideas now. Blenheim Bouquet by Penhaligon, you're not going to find it here. Um, Betty Bear by Guerlain, you might find it here. Um, Imperial by Roger Gallet, incredibly difficult to find, they still only make the soap. Um, 4711, a really old fashioned fragrance. Um, Eau de Cologne. I like fresh ones. I quite like Gourla. I have a grapefruit, which I love. So they're quite citrusy and fresh. I don't do musky very often, apart from Comme de Gasson number two. But I'll try and take you through the smell. Okay. Trini, yes. Takaku is asking, what's the difference between the Bare Mineral, Mineral Foundation and the Howard Glass Foundation? Such you know. a big difference. I think um, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue isn't a foundation, it's more salts than tinted moisturizer and it does have this like glow to it. Hourglass is sold as a stick foundation and concealer in one and Hourglass is vanished. It's incredibly good if you have things to cover, you can build it up, you control the coverage. With a stick you can always control the coverage more because you really just take a tiny bit and blend in where you want to cover imperfections. Whereas the Complexion Rescue, it's best to put it on because it's a liquid fluid as if it's your moisturizer and really rub it in like it's a moisturizer and that will give you a far better finish. Another quick I question. Know what I wanted. Do you do Bobby Brown? Yet? Did you very nice. <laughs> <laughs> did you do Bobby Brown? Yet? No. Did you How's the friends in life? I do want to go on the Bobby Brown hunt because for the summer there's a few things in Bobby Brown I love, which I was going to try and stock up on here. So we might have to do a department store haul next week. Trini Bumika is asking for help with acne scars. Acne scars. Oh, very good mascara, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Help with acne scars. Yeah. In terms of coverage or in terms of more bigger help? More bigger help, we'll long out. term help. Yeah. Is it products you're interested in too or long term solutions? Let's see. I have to find something that works here. But if you, you ask me often which is a great mascara, there are so many good mascaras, but one that's been out for quite a long time, which is consistently good, is Hypnose Drama by Long Kong. And it's got a very nice brush. It's really good to kind of manipulate and get on those um, lashes. It gives a great uh, thickness. It's not too cloggy. Um, just, I wanted to point it out. I'm not going to buy it now because there's nobody here. <laughs> good colour lipstick for summer? I think, I think summer is about going for some of those shades. I think what we could do is next week, can we have the list code? Yes. We'll do great fresh lips for summer when you don't want to wear hardly any makeup and you want to wash of things and i think what i want to buy today and there are oh there's one here i'm going to get for you um but is lips that change the color of your skin or pick up your ph balance so today on instagram i put one from um lipstick queen uh, do you remember what it's called Chloe? the lipstick queen one morning sunshine morning sunshine and it takes up your lip color and gives you the best bright lip so I get a kind of weird pink from it, it's very nice. Um, Dior does one, uh, Yves Saint Laurent does a similar one. Bobbi Brown does a really good one, which is, it looks like a lip balm, but it's got a tint to it. And then the Benetint, so I like tints and balms with tint in them for summer, instead of lipstick. Okay, I'm still waiting for tinted SPF for holidays. Okay. <laughs> tinted SPF for holidays. I did. I did at the beginning talk about um, the, um, the, uh, the La Roche-Posay um, at, at the last, you know, the Greek sounding one. And that had the tinted SPF 50, that's very good. I'm going to show you one more. Well, going back to the lady that needs help for acne, she says, I already have glycolic and acid cream, but scratch is still there. So, tinted SPF, I'm going to show you again. That is good, SPF 50 tinted. Embrolies, if you buy it in France, they have many different combinations. They have SPF 30 and 50 tinted, emulsion, and cream. So here, 
they have no tinted ones. This is just for intolerant skin, which is actually, if you want an SPF and you're incredibly sensitive skin, I think this is the best product to buy. But they do normally have one which has a color in it, but as being fresh brown, it's only one color. Bobby Brown does its tinted balm, but it's quite hydrating, and for some people with an oily skin, it's too, too hydrating. I do use it, and I don't use a moisturizer on underneath. Um, is there anything else I need to buy? Yeah, now. Ah, oh, minis. I'm looking for minis here. Yeah. We all go to the mini counter, and you all know it. It's silly for me. It's like teaching you to suck eggs. But I prefer to get my little mini toothbrushes. You know, my mini toothpaste, which I get my Colgate. They sometimes have a wiping on which I get. Right. A mouthwash for those moments when. Um, three minute miracle. I might get a third because I'm here. Um, what else would I get that I'd like? Anything else here I rate? Because there's a lot of things that are made mini that are not very good. Um, I wouldn't do Baptiste with any of you who are desperate for a small dry shampoo. I'd no, I'm not going to recommend it because I don't like that tea stuff, I'm afraid, sorry. Don't like it, don't think it works. That's it. I think I'm just about done. Um, and I feel for next week, we might go into a department store, Chloe, we could go into a house of Fraser, and we'll look at the slightly bigger brands and some good makeup. Um, and anything else you feel you would like me to go on a journey and look at, let me know. And that's it. Have a nice evening. I'm so looking forward to my holiday. Holly and I, um, Chloe and I have so much work to do with our team before I go on holiday that um, I better go off now, pay for this, and get back to work.